Well, we'll see how it goes for this decorated kickboxer. Nice to see him cross over into the UFC. And a lot of people feel like if he can get on sort of an Alex Pereira type trajectory in terms of the work ethic and the approach, could be a future world champion. Well, he looks like it. He seems to have all the skills, and he says the right thing. We were talking to him the other day. He spoke about all the time they're spending in the gym working on the wrestling because he knows that the kickboxing is embedded in him. He has done it so long, he can do it on cruise control. But the wrestling has improved. And he said, because his wrestling's improved, guys are going to have to stand with him. When they have to stand, he said the lights will be shut off. Yes. I cannot wait to see him. Dude's got power everywhere, and that's why a lot of these fans have traveled far and wide to see him compete live here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Hannon, the Baron Barrow! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Good. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed in place there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, oh, right hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh! So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Clean punch. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for them. Trying to hammer that beat leg. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Looked like that body kick on him. Flying knee lands to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He's really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Takedown defense holds up. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. 
he should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, you gotta continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your form. Nice jab by Chor. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, beautiful level change. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, Corral's trying for a submission here. Heel hook looks tight. That heel hook looks tight and painful. What he's got to do now, though, is keep that heel hooked inside the crevice of his arm if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Fighter connects there. Great block there. And a miss with the right hook. First round winding down here. Oh. He's got that single collar tie. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. So it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. You better get his elbow down or his opponent's right. going to continue right. to take advantage of that right. weakness. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. That shot blocked by Hennen Varad. Hands high, hands high. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Straight punch lands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Unable to connect with a right hook. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Just touching him with the jab. The Korean Superboy gets back up. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. 
Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting out. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, Perrault's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Takedown defense is there, and they separate. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing stroke. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so hard. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Joy's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. 45 seconds remain in the round. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Oh, oh I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Well, he blocks the shot there. Under 20 seconds now to go. Nice punch to the head. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's Third go. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcomes. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level control. That flying knee to the head landed. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, that combination's going to test his chin. I see done. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He's hurt bad. Hands higher, hands higher. Burrell gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Massive knee lands gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, Barrow's blocking pretty well now. So an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Him with the jab. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, 
Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Nice punch land over the top. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh. Unable to connect with the right. Big shot lands for both guys. Nice. Nicely done. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, how about the switch kick to the body by Burrell? Choi's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his opponent. Might as well continue to attack that particular area. going upstairs with the left hook. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. It's getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Great commitment to the kick again. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. A huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. His elbow is blocked. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for certain. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. 15 seconds to go. Nice job by him defensively there. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it, because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. Big power shot there. Burrell's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, 
Nice takedown defense. And now some separation. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Choice strike attempt there is blocked. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Burrow's left calf starting to show signs of bruising, courtesy of those leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, Barrow's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the middle. There's the single leg. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, feet on the hips here. Morales got his head looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. He got out again. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body oh, early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after... Oh, yeah, you see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, so we predicted he'd go back. Oh, that's so Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh! Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over the 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Ready to fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Beautiful kick lands there. Countering with the jab here, but a nice job blocking it by Burrell. Great kick to the body. Big land there. 
His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to be. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. That was a slick transition. Choice back in full mount. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Man, another one lands, he's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. He's in the mouth. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Morales right back to the full mount here. Nice shots landing from the top position. He's got to be careful here. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Barat. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm off and stay safe. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Barao. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Now some separation from his clinch position. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Unable to connect it. And plenty of time with... Back to the feet now. Beautiful combination. Gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. Beautiful. That was exactly what it worked for. Way to listen.
All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started.